Uh, Ryan, what does it feel like to be in Edmonton and not just uh, take the ride from the airport to the rank and be able to see a few things and things like that? Yeah, it's interesting. Definitely uh, a lot more to the city than I thought. I mean, obviously when we're here, it's East. Well, when I was here, it was the Eastern Conference team, usually a pretty quick trip. So kind of nice to see some different areas and find out where we're going to live. And, um, you know, definitely very exciting. I mean, you just see the buzz around the team and uh, in August is pretty special. And uh, you know, being a Canadian boy, it's nice to have that, uh, that Canadian hockey feel again. And, uh, certainly very exciting. What was your first thought when you got traded? And was your first thought, wow, I get to play with Connor McDavid? Yeah, just excited to come to a team I think is really close to winning. I mean, I was saying earlier, it doesn't seem too long ago I was watching the playoffs. And I was sitting up at like 2 in the morning with my buddies watching the game. I'm like, wow, these guys are quite the team. So, you know, pretty humbling and pretty uh, pretty big honor to be a part of it now. And, um, yeah, I mean, just to be here is uh, pretty special. And um, definitely very exciting. Uh, Anticipating the season, uh, it's going to be very exciting. When you look at the depth chart, and whether, I know you feel you're a natural center, but uh, Todd kind of hinted he might try on the right wing. The right wing's wide open, whether it's with Connor, whether it's with Leon or Ryan Nugent Hopkins. You just players always talk about wanting an opportunity. Probably can't ask for a better one to come in and feel like if you do your thing, you'll get a really good chance to play a lot. Yeah, I know it's good. I think uh, one of the main things I talked about with Todd was just the versatility. And I, I know last year, I mean. I remember watching the playoffs and the lines were switching nonstop. You had guys playing center, guys playing wing, and I think that's uh, it gets guys going. It gets you involved in the game, and if you're feeling it, you get to get out there more. And um, I know his teams in San Jose did the same thing, so it's definitely very exciting. And yeah, I mean, there's no uh, no uh, lack of opportunity, that's for sure. I mean, uh, just with such a great team and the way they play, I think it's just so exciting and um, definitely a lot of anticipation from my end. And uh, I'm really excited to get things going. When you line up in the wing, what do you feel your strengths are? What do you do best as a winger? I think that I've actually done a lot better job uh, last couple of years just learning to make little plays in my centerman. I think being a centerman growing up so much, you don't really appreciate how much your wingers are, you know, what they do. And, you know, being on the wing and just little wall battles, just kind of getting the pucks in good areas for centermen. And, um, as well as, you know, being able to kind of take a risk here and there was a thing I really learned. So. Um, I think versatility is a good thing, like I mentioned, and uh, you know, wherever I'm slotted, I mean, I don't know what it's going to be, but uh, I'm just excited to get going. Has anyone player reached out to you, and if so, what did they tell you about the city of this fan base? Yeah, a bunch of guys. I was actually pretty, uh, pretty excited. It was pretty nice to see so many guys text and reach out, and pretty much everyone just said you know, all the positives. I mean, a great arena, great fans, obviously a great team, great coaching staff, so can't ask for much more than that. I think, uh, you know, uh, just so excited, and... Um, just see the support of the guys. Uh, it says a lot about the dressing room, and you know, I haven't heard one bad thing, so I guess that's a good thing. You recently said that this te- you see this team as a contender. What's the main reason for that? What, what, what makes you so excited about this team? I think just uh, actually, funny or not, believe it or not, talking to guys that played up until the playoffs. I'm not going to say names, but uh, they were just saying like, you know, they they were so impressed and so blown away. And then just from my own opinion, just watching the games and seeing how many great players they have, obviously with Connor and Leon and guys like that, it's. Uh, you know, the sky is the limit, and uh, definitely to be a part of that is pretty exciting. What do you look at personally to want to take your game to the next level? Uh, you want to come in and not just contribute, but become a, a main guy. Obviously, being a top five pick, there's a lot of expectations. You've had some time now in the league. What do you feel you need to do to take that next step and maybe become a, a regular 20, 25 goal guy? I think just to, you know, get that confidence going early, just ride the wave. I think uh, with so many ups and downs in my career, I think I've definitely learned to. Uh, Handle adversity pretty well. I mean, I've got, had a lot thrown at me and, um, you know, gone through some stuff. So um, I think just from my past experiences and um, I think knowing the league's a big thing too. I think just uh, being around and, uh, you know, I definitely don't feel like too much of a rookie anymore. It's funny how fast time flies, but, um, you know, being traded now and a good opportunity and people that are excited to have me and um, it's going to be good. I think, uh, you know, it's uh, nothing but optimism from my end. Did you notice a difference just mentally for you? The trade happens and you're like, okay, I'm going to a new mark. Does that change? Do you feel that even in the off season as you train that your mindset is just different? Yeah, no, for sure. It's just, uh, just that excitement. I mean, it's hard not to get excited every day. I mean, we have such a lucky job playing in the NHL that no matter where you are, it's great. But uh, you know, you actually definitely have an extra jump in your step. And uh, when I had to tell people I play for the Edmonton Oilers, it's kind of a uh, you know, different feeling and uh, a lot of excitement. So, um, you know, I feel like a little bit of a kid again, even getting my new gear at Christmas. And like, that's what I felt like. I was going to the rink with my new Oilers gear. I'm like, oh, this is pretty awesome. So, yeah, little things like that get you excited. And um, certainly, like I said, coming to a team that I think is so close is uh, very exciting as well. When it comes to playing in a Canadian market, I, I, there's obviously a double-edged sword, I guess. Just how do you feel about the scrutiny yet you're going to be under now, maybe that 
you weren't under in New York? Yeah, I mean, I was definitely under scrutiny in New York, so I'm a little bit used to it. But, uh, I mean, I grew up in Toronto. I was uh, followed the Leafs for many years, so I've seen uh, – I've seen the craziness and, you know, even living in Toronto in the summers, I mean, we have our summer skates and there's like people packed in the arena. So I definitely know what it's all about. It's exciting. I think, uh, you know, winning makes everyone, everyone happy. And um, that's what we're looking to do here. And uh, that's what I'm looking to just to, you know, put my best foot forward. I mean, I think I'm a pretty good guy, a pretty good kid. And I just like to, you know, play hockey and I'm going to do my best. Your younger brother has some pretty good chemistry with uh, Connor McDavid. Have you, uh, you know, been able to spend any time skate with him, or what do you think that would be like for you? Yeah, obviously. I mean, I watched you know hundreds of Erie Otter games over the years, so I had a pretty good scouting report on them. And uh, definitely uh, funny how things work. And um, you know, I think for me, just the biggest thing is just coming to play my game. And um, obviously, it's going to be surrounded by great players and great talent. And whoever I can fit in to contribute, just what I'm looking to do. Did you feel? Can you be more of a shooter than necessarily a playmaker? Do you have that in you? Have you worked maybe more in your shot? Yeah, no, definitely. I think, uh, you know, um, it's funny. I think you learn so much about yourself in your career, and I think that uh, one thing I need to do is shoot the puck more. And, um, you know, watching the playoffs, like I keep, keep bringing up how, how much guys distribute the puck here. It's going to be a little different, and uh, looking forward to that opportunity. I think just, just becoming more of a well-rounded forward and a well-rounded player, I think, is what I'm looking forward to. And, from what I've heard, the coach here like to preach offense, like to teach it, and that's something a little bit different. That's something I'm looking forward to as well. How often are you on the ice in the summertime? Two to three times a week. I mean, I kind of ramp it up now, but it kind of starts slowly and just kind of progress more. So uh, starting to ramp it up here in August and be in Edmonton early September. So. Did you haven't had a tour of the rink yet? Yeah, I was there a couple a half hour ago. So I literally got off the plane, went to the rink, and came here. So uh, pretty busy morning. What were your impressions of it? Ah, uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, it, it's, it makes me speechless, honestly. I mean, uh, I'm walking around, and I feel like this is like not even real life to be looking at how nice the facility is. So um, never seen anything like that, that's for sure. And uh, I mean, it's a, it's a privilege, and we're spoiled to play in the NHL, but that takes it to a new level, so it's pretty uh, pretty cool. Do you set goals for yourself at all for the season? Personally? Not really. I think, just, I think just coming and contribute. I mean, I've always been a winner growing up. I've been a lot of winning teams, and um, I think that's what defines great players, and that's what I'm looking to do. And um, I don't think you want to change too much about yourself or put any extra pressure on yourself. I think just, you know, I want to win. That's what it's all about, and that makes everyone happy. And um, I think I'm in a good opportunity to do that here. Oiler well, fans, obviously, are excited to see you. For those who haven't been able to watch you, can you give them a, a little description of what style of player you are, what type of game you have? Yeah, I think just, uh, you know, a smart forward. I mean, I just try to, you know, anticipate where the puck's going to go. I mean, uh, I'm not the biggest, not the fastest guy, but, you know, I'm pretty gritty, I like to think. And, not afraid to stir it up a little bit and, you know, try to get under guys' skin. And all in all, I just think a well-rounded player. I like to, you know, like to score and put up points. But uh, um, I think I've definitely learned on the defensive side of my game in New York. That was preached a lot. So I think just pretty well-rounded. I can do a little bit of everything. And, um, you know, I think I can slot in, in a lot of different areas. So I'm looking forward to it. We talk a lot about the centers you'll play with. But you mentioned you have that gritty kind of stirred up style to your game. You've got Lucic and Maroon and Cassian and lots of other guys yeah. that likely one of them will be on your line. Does yeah. that make it easier to play that role knowing that you've got, if you want to call it, big brother skating around with you? Yeah, I don't think I'm like an agitator by any sense of the word. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's such a big part of the game that goes undervalued. I think uh, in New York last year we lost Matt Martin, and I think I, we definitely felt a little bit of a difference. And You know, you play a tough team, and you got to answer the bell, and you uh, got to look over your shoulder a little bit more. So... Those guys obviously have a big presence, and not to mention they can put the puck in the net too. So, um, yeah, great combination of this team and grit and skill. And um, like I keep saying, I just want to fit in where I can and be a part of it all. Do you feel any pressure to, to live up to who you were traded for at all? Uh, there's obviously pressure. I mean, you get traded. I mean, someone put, uh, put their time, their money, their effort into you and their expectations. So, you know, there's always pressure and expectation, but I think nothing more than going to the rink every day and, you know, earning your paycheck and, um, helping your team win, and I think other than that, I think it's pretty uh, pretty standard.